Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Skins here today and today I actually have a new server for you guys to try out. But before I give you the tour of the teleport shops, bosses, etc, I do have a rather nice giveaway here. I have two $50 scrolls in my inventory and I'm going to be giving them away to you guys. Now, for this server there's only 8 people on right now but literally this has just been released so don't let that put you off. Because if you think about it, if you win this giveaway, you could have a $50 scroll, you could have a head start before everyone else that joins. And I mean, this server has a lot of potential, so honestly, I think this server could reach, I don't know, 100, 150 players really quite soon. So, if you join now, get these scrolls, you know, you're going to have a little bit of a head start. So, all you have to do to enter this giveaway is like the video, subscribe to my channel, and comment your in-game name. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, comment your in-game name. That's all you have to do. Uh, there will be two winners. Each winner will have will win a $50 scroll. So good luck to everyone. And let's get on with the tour. Okay, so first off, of course, we have the NPC drop table checker. Now, if you don't know what boss you want to do, you just come here, check what drops, check the rates, and you know it should be pretty simple to uh, decide what one you want to do. It doesn't show all the drops, I don't believe, but it shows the majority of them. But uh, up next, we got the player owned stores. Fairly simple, it's like the Grand Exchange. You just go through each store and buy whatever you want from each player. There's my store. Boss Point Shop, if you're not having any luck at your current bosses, you just obtain points, buy whatever you want. Fairly simple. We've also got the Charming Imp at the Ring of Wealth. Skilling Points, fairly simple. Do skills, get points, and buy stuff. Now we have rewards, uh, voting rewards, sorry. Um, this is also fairly straightforward. Got the barrow sets, legendary mystery boxes, etc. Then we've got the loyalty titles. Obviously, there's the ones you can unlock by becoming that rank, and there's the ones you can unlock with points. Next, we have max uh, for max cape and etc. And also prestige points. Um, the shop could do with updating, but never mind. Made shop, also fairly straightforward. All the shops are scattered around Varrock, but. Um, yeah, consumables, etc. Range equipment with the cannon and even onyx bolts, cannonballs, etc. Dragon darts. And then we have armor, fairly straightforward. Uh, weapons, also fairly straightforward. And also jewelries. We have the amulet of ranging there and also the regen bracelet, which is awesome. And of course, the pure store. And most of the shops, like I said, are scattered around Varrock, but um, there's also ones at home. Skill capes. Quite expensive, they're like one mil each, but nevertheless, got the hoods as well. Uh, general store and Mandrith, you can buy PvP sets from. Uh, basic stuff, KDR ratio, etc. PK point shop, pretty nice looking shop. You only get one PK point per um, per kill, but that's all right. Then we have the donator shop. Got the tricks to set the um, I think it's battle mage. We also got the Blowpipe, Dragon Warhammer, Claws, AGS, Armadillo Crossbow, Pernic Sets, um, Neck Set, sorry. And then we have, obviously, the Party Hats, all the rares and stuff, all the goodies that you want to buy. And I believe that is about it for shops. Alright, so next up we have Teleports. And literally, for skilling Teleports, you just go on your Stat tab and click the skill and it will literally take you straight there. For some skills, there's more than one option and for combat skills... Obviously, it takes you to training spots, and there's also Dungeoneering and the Dungeoneering Shop. So, apart from that, of course, we have uh, the Training Teleports, Dungeon Teleports, loads of Dungeons, Boss Teleports, Zora and Kraken are coming soon, uh, so look forward to that. Mini Games and Mini Quests, there's only two quests, but still quite fun. And, obviously, PvP Teleports, pretty basic stuff, and I think that is about it for Teleports, actually. And of course we have uh, the home and edgeful teleports. Okay, so next up we have bosses. Now I didn't record every single boss for this because I think the majority of you uh, are aware on how to kill Bandos, Armadil, you know, all the God Wars stuff and etc, etc. So I needed the old school wilderness one. So uh, Scorpia, I think this is Vetian, Callisto... Honestly, I haven't actually done many um, old school bosses. I think that's Venonatus. Uh, so I don't actually know their names. I can't 
quite remember, but all their drop tables are perfect. They um, they all drop what they should drop, etc., etc. They're all based in the wilderness, but it's not in very deep wieldy, so it's very easy to get out if you are attacked in PvP. Uh, here we have Cerberus. Uh, this is quite hard to kill because uh, this attack is uh, rather rather powerful. But during these fights, I did have like um, I think 10k HP or something. Uh, courtesy of um, so hey the owner he gave me uh, 10k HP just for the video so I could uh, record all this stuff but as you can see um, you are getting a lot of uh, boss points every time you uh, every time you kill a boss now I couldn't quite kill the Abyssal Sire uh, because Moneybags was there he's a really nice guy and um, yeah I just thought I'd uh, show this clip of him killing it with the blowpipe the blowpipe as you can see is very powerful but uh, unfortunately he didn't get anything. But uh, yeah, that's about it for bosses, so we'll move on to PvP. Now for PK, I did a couple of fights. I think I did uh, four, four or five fights. We were in Bandos and we were in perfectly evenly matched gear. Uh, I gave my opponent the same gear I had, but I made sure that I got it back so it didn't uh, upset the eco in any way. Now PvP, on here it is, it's, it's good. It is actually really quite good. The bounty hunter system they have, that is fully working. You're rewarded with the artifact things that you can cash in for, I think it's, I think you get uh, coins for it, but it would be cool if they added a system where you get points as well. Now, either, there are a couple things that need working on, for instance, I think they should add a vengeance timer and a ice barrage timer. That would help loads, especially on this server. Uh, also, some of the uh, spec weapons are slightly so, very slightly, but um, I don't think anyone will be PKing on here anytime soon. I think when the player base grows a bit, then it will become very popular then, because I have a feeling that it's going to be very easy to obtain items on here, uh, especially for PvP, such as Barrows, Darrocks, etc. So I think PvP really will pick up on here, but like I said, a couple of the spec weapons are slightly slow. But that, I, I should think that's a very easy fix, and I think the owners and developers uh, will get on that straight away. Now, I think that is about it for PvP. I didn't go too much into it, honestly. The point system is fairly straightforward. You get one point per kill, unless uh, I think if you get on a kill streak, uh, you your point, or if you kill someone on a kill streak, you get uh, more than one point. Uh, you get uh, the equivalent points to how many people he's killed. I think that's how it works. I'm not entirely sure, but the PvP on here is is very good. Um, all in all, it just needs tweaking very slightly. But apart from that, ten out of ten. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tour. Like I said, the server really does have a lot of potential, and I do think it is really worth joining. I know for a fact that I'm going to be playing this. I may even do a series on here. So. Even if you want to come along, just say hi, feel free to do so. Uh, the community is very nice, very kind people. And um, yeah, I really think this server will have potential to grow. And I really, honestly, honestly, I do think it will grow. The owners and developers, they are very dedicated uh, to get this up and going. I think they're going to be updating almost every day. So honestly, guys, you should probably join. I know, uh, I know that I will be, so... Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget about that giveaway. $2, $250 scrolls. Like, comment, subscribe to enter. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.